Alright guys, welcome back to First Time Playthroughs. I am Taylor, and you are... Shadow, that's me. Hey. Shadow the Streak Hog. What the heck? I don't know. That ain't me, what the fuck? Anyways, last time uh, we were here, I got the little choppy thing, so... Yo, champ in the making, beyond this point is the Vermilion City Gym. But you'll need to chop down that tree first. But I think you and Pikachu will have no trouble slicing through. Come on, give it a shot. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I hated that. <laughs> and I hated every second of it. Seems this tree can be chopped down. Do you want to use the secret technique chop down? Yes, you do. Watch off. Oh, so Pikachu automatically gets it? Yeah, so I think I, I, think I mentioned this in the last... Uh, part or two when we got chopped down but yeah it's essentially this game's replacement for the hms so that's just a way of using cut in the field but it doesn't take up a slot a move slot on your pokemon you probably don't know what i'm talking about because you've never played oh you like, said like rm or something like that right hm it's but yeah <gasps> oh i didn't see the person there i was like look at that fucking magic card. <laughs> But yeah, so not really anything to worry about. Basically, Chop Down just lets you cut down trees now. So we've seen a few trees previously in the game, but now we can actually, you know, take them down for sure. But this right here is the Vermilion City Gym. Feel free to uh, step forward and he'll probably... Oh, actually, that's right. So you know how, like, the previous gyms had requirements? Mm -hmm. Well, the requirement for this gym, I'm pretty sure, is just to cut down that tree. So again, another pointless requirement that you're going to have to do regardless. Again, just it just sort of leads to that thing that I mentioned earlier where it's like... People complained about there being gym requirements, but the gym requirements you pretty much do anyways without even trying unintentionally. So, like this one, it's like what's even the fucking point, <laughs> you know? I don't know. I think I just think it's like it's a redundant and useless uh, addition to the game that adds nothing, and that you know there's really no point in having it. But we can go ahead and fight these trainers. Oh wait, can I get stuff in here? It's a red trash can. Nope, only trash in there. Isn't there like a nope, riddle only or trash something? In there. there is, but we're actually gonna fight this gentleman first. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict colonel. He was a hard taskmaster. Tech action. Yeah, so, I don't know if you remember Lieutenant Surge from the anime at all. No. Okay. Also, can we start that tonight? Yeah, sure. Uh, but yeah, this is an electric-type gym. So, Lieutenant Surge, I mean, if the name wasn't obvious, very familiar with the uh, electric-type. So, a lot of his Pokemon are going to be using electric-type moves. So, water does not do well here, and neither does flying. Yeah, so electric is super effective on water and flying. And, um, but electric does not resist water. Electric does resist flying. Okay. So, so what is effective on... So electric is only weak to ground, <clears throat> to ground type. That is the only type that is a super effective on it. But, uh, grass <laughs> resists electric, so Ivysaur is actually a really good Pokemon to have. Because okay. it resists, um, whereas Wartortle takes uh, double damage from electric obviously being weak to it but as i said electric does not resist water it only resists flying okay so just something worth knowing so war turtle is at a disadvantage in the sense that i do have to worry about taking a lot of damage but i can still use my attacks fine i think charmeleon would probably be a better pokemon to send out in this battle just because I don't have to worry about taking more damage. And it has a better move than Bubble. But, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. I'm still fine with using Wartortle, though. But if we're not planning on using Wartortle for our team in the long run, we don't really need to have it out in the front. Because I know you mentioned you wanted to maybe have Vaporeon instead. Mm -hmm. Or Jolteon. Um, either one of those would be fine for the team. Yeah. I just wouldn't recommend getting Flareon because you already have Leap Blop. Right. So it'd be redundant to have another fire type. Yeah, no, I want... <clears throat> I want Charizard, Vaporeon. For grass, I'm still thinking. Do you not want to use Ivysaur? Or Venusaur? I mean, if you don't, it's fine. Like I said, it's your team. I don't know. I'm still debating on it, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
the red trash can. Yeah, I'd recommend we uh, fight all these guys just again to get the experience. It's, uh... but yeah, the key to making the key to Pokemon. I mean, you can really play any way you want, but ideally, you want a full team of six of a variety of types to cover right. your bases. You know, I know a lot of people um, like to do challenge runs where they only use one type or even one Pokemon or things like that. I've done a few challenge runs in the past. Um, but I would uh, recommend, especially for you, to try and have as diverse of a move, uh, diverse of a party as possible. Mm -hmm. The thing with Pokemon is there are 18 types, but you can only have a maximum of 12 on your team at absolute most. And that is because if every single Pokemon on your team had two types, I mean, you'd only get 12. So that's the absolute most you can have. Although in, in this game specifically, there aren't any dark types at all. So, <clears throat> But I'm going to switch to Charmeleon just because uh, War Turtle will go down in one more hit if it does take another Thundershot. Yeah, and Charmeleon would be a great Pokemon to fight Magnemite because, you know, fire is super effective on steel. Yeah. So. so there was somebody um, in the comments of our first yeah first part <clears throat> of our first part and they were saying like you know they wanted to see me explore more and stuff like that and that is definitely happening uh, like <clears throat> I know that you wanted to like you know give me a whole bunch of information and let me know and stuff like that um, but yeah. I am I am more of somebody who learns through experience. But if you like front load me with a shit ton of info, uh, no, <laughs> like no. Yeah, and the reason why I mostly like front loaded you at the beginning, anyways, is because it's like it's linear, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to give you enough context to kind of get your footing because, you know. As much fun as it would be for you to, you know, spend two hours just getting a grip on everything, we are recording this, and I know not everybody would want to watch that. Yeah. So, like, it is important, and, like, this is true with all playthroughs, not just this one, that, you know, we have to keep in mind that, you know, you guys are obviously watching us as we commentate and play through, and we want you to be, you know, entertained, and we want you to enjoy it. We don't want yeah. you to be bored. <clears throat> or anything like that. Yeah, and I get that, but at the same time, like, we are literally called first-time playthroughs for a reason. Oh, well, speaking of first time, Voltorb used self-destruct. Wow, that did not do any damage. So, I didn't mean to cut you off, we can get back to that tangent in a second, but self-destruct is a move where the Pokemon literally self-destructs, automatically faints, and it does a massive ton of damage, although apparently that self-destruct didn't do anything. But self-destruct, as I was saying, is a move that, uh, you know, you instantly fate, and I believe it has 100 base power, and then there's a move called, called Explosion, which has like 250 or something like that. So, unfortunately, War Turtle just fainted, but uh, Ivysaur is still hanging in there, and you can go ahead with your uh, tangent that you were on. <clears throat> I wasn't necessarily on a tangent, but um, I was just... Yeah, select a bleep lot for me. Um, but what I was saying was, like, it is a first time playthroughs channel. Uh, I mean, obviously that's their name, but like, so <laughs> you can't just like expect fully, you know, for every everybody to just be like, first time I'm gonna know exactly what I'm doing oh, and I'm gonna. Yeah, Not you I specifically, don't. but I mean them. Do you know what I mean? So, I don't know. There's got to be some exploration. Yeah, no, I know, and I'm not trying to restrict you. I'm just saying, especially in the beginning when you're getting a grip on things, I do want to keep things moving so it's not super tutorial heavy and boring. Yeah. Alright, so that's a red trash can. That's a regular trash can. That's a regular trash can. That's a red trash can. <laughs> That's a regular trash can. That's a red trash can. Hey, you clicked on the blue one. It's a blue trash can. <laughs> it's a red trash can. Nope, there's only trash here. 
Nope, there's only trash here. It's a blue trash can. Nope, there's only trash here. Nope, there's only trash here. It's a blue trash can. Nope, there's only trash here. It's a blue trash can. <laughs> it's a red trash can. Let me know when you want a hint. Nope, there's only trash here. Nope, there's only trash here. Are you having trouble reaching Lieutenant Surge? Why don't you check your trash can next to the blue trash can? Hey, there's a switch under the trash. Let's push it. Alright, so that was the first thing you had to do. Now do you know what you have to do next? It's a red trash can. Nope, there's only trash here. Oh, you cunt. Ha <laughs> ha, the electric barrier was reactivated. Hey, there's a switch under the trash. Let's push it. The first electric barrier was deactivated. Nope, there's only trash here. <laughs> hey, there's a switch under the trash. Stop. <laughs> Sorry, I just... You can see how... Getting those text boxes over and over again is pretty annoying. So, he already gave you a hint. Maybe try talking to one of the other NPCs. Okay, I'll talk. I heard there isn't a switch in any trash cans next to the red trash can. Nope, there's only trash here. Stop. <laughs> uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. So... I may as well talk about this puzzle. In the original game, there was no red and blue trash can. It was literally, and you found it. It was literally all three of those rows. Any one of those trash cans could have the switch. And then you had to guess any trash can that was adjacent to it to have the second one. And if you didn't find it, it would reset and it would re-scramble all of the trash cans. Not like you kept getting the center one. In the original game, it would switch it to some other random trash can. That's annoying. Yeah, it's, it was a super annoying puzzle. But this is Lieutenant Surge. He is the third gym leader. He is also a, uh, a war veteran. Because apparently there was a war. There have actually been several wars across the canon of Pokemon, believe it or not. Uh, not, not just the one he's referring to. But, yeah. He's a hardened, uh, hardened lieutenant. uses electric-type Pokemon. And we luckily have Ivysaur on our team to resist a lot of his moves. And Charmeleon can dish out some decent damage. Although, unfor the unfortunate thing about using Charmander is you do have to play the long game when it comes to having a good moveset. Because its stats are great, but yeah, that was Ember with a critical hit. Pathetic, right? Yeah, that was pretty garbage. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. The other thing that uh, is at play right now is the fact that his Pokemon are actually pretty... S <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, pretty strong. In fact, so strong that Bleeplop is already knocked out. Just like that. Yeah, his Pokemon are quite powerful for being this high up in uh, level. So. But yeah, your Caterpie grew to level 22 at the very least. So, I mean, look at the bright side. But your best bet, I guess, would be Pikachu. Or, I mean, Frida's weak. But, yeah, I'd guess Pikachu's the next best bet. <laughs> Unfortunately. It's unfortunate, too, because if we had Ember for this Magnemite, things would be so much better right now. But, at the very least, Pikachu does have Double Kick, which fighting is super effective on Steel-type as well. So, Also, I still love this song. A super effective. Yeah. Takedown, I mm. wouldn't have recommended that. Well, I just had to try it out. You know? I'm exploring, I'm doing my own thing. Yep. Well, steel resists normal type, so it's not very effective. But I didn't know it was normal. It says it right there, normal. I knew that. You can also press Y for move info, so you know what a move does. It tells you your type, power everything 
which I appreciate that actually that is, that is a feature of this game that I really do like is the ability to pull up your move info in battle I do like that as opposed to having to go into the party going to the summary check moves that way yeah so but this is last Pokemon Raichu uh, kind of Lieutenant Surge's iconic Pokemon this um, thing is tough can you catch shiny Pokemon in this game? You can. <gasps> and I do ha plan on having us cover that uh, later on in the playthrough. But uh, yeah, we will try to get a shiny Pokemon, although it is a very, very time-consuming process. So <laughs> we'll probably end up like just setting it up and then recording once we have it set up. But there's, there's a lot of planning and stuff involved with that that I'm not going to get into right now. Um, another thing that I could recommend you do is... Um, and this is something I recommend you do with uh, a lot of fights, is actually using that Leech Seed move with uh, Ivysaur. Because Leech Seed actually saps some of the opponent's health every turn. It's actually a really good move for draining their health. Mm -hmm. um, that I can recommend. But Go ahead and get the double kick off. And Raichu is probably going to get off another attack. Thunderbolt. Yeah. Raichu, this is definitely one of the most threatening Pokemon we've been up against so far. Um, because Pikachu's not really, doesn't really have an advantage over it. I'd actually recommend going for the Leech Seed because he's probably going to heal on this turn. Mm -hmm. Most gym leaders have one or two healing items that they're going to use when their Pokemon's really weak. Apparently, Lieutenant Surge isn't going to heal. Never mind. <laughs> I take it back. I was wrong. <laughs> but usually they heal, so... But with that, that's Lieutenant Surge. So, that's your third gym badge right there. What a cock. <laughs> and Nugget hit level 25. I really dislike the modeling of the people. Like, look how large his upper half is. Yeah, he, he does look stumpy. Stumpy is the word I would use. Stump. Yeah, and I agree. I'm not really super huge on the models of the uh, human characters in Let's Go. A lot of people aren't. It's just kind of this weird in-between. But, I mean, it is similar to Sun and Moon, but I think it just looks better on a handheld than it does here, I guess. So he gave you his autograph. <laughs> Can I sell it? And a gym badge. So you got the autograph which will be useful for later. And he's also going to give you the TM for Thunderbolt, which is a fantastic electric type move. That's actually one of the best electric type moves there is. Super accurate, super powerful, and definitely one of my all-time favorites. So can you evolve, like if you catch a Magmite? Yeah. Can you evolve it into a... Magneton? Yeah. Yes. In this game? Yes. Magnemite and Magneton are Gen 1 Pokemon, so yeah. Well, no, 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 no. I meant like that that other thing. Oh, Maybe. the third one, Magnezone? Yeah. Now, you can't get Magnezone awesome. in this because that is a Sinnoh evolution. You can only get the original 151. You can't get Kingdra or Steelix or Scizor or Tangrowth or anything like that. You're only stuck with the original 151, so. Mm. Uh. <coughs> but that's Misty right there, who's uh, here for whatever reason. Are you going to read the text? Yeah. Oh, do you want me to read it out loud? Mm -hmm. Oh, my bad. Misty healed your Pokemon for you. Oh, thanks. I was actually getting ready to. There are times when you just want to break free from Pewdie Little Pool and swim in the big blue. Where are you headed next? Have you been to Diglett's Cave? I have. If you haven't been, I can show you the way. I'm going to guide. No. No! Oh, well, that's some... <laughs> well, that's some way to turn down such an offer. We should probably go heal. She just <coughs> healed our Pokemon. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry, in the original game, that's not there, and that's what I'm used to. So. 